we can then come out and go back up into the external universe a billion years earlier than we went down. So if you have wormholes, there's a natural way to make time machine. So this was wonderful when, when uh, my students and I discovered this. I was very excited. Uh, we can then come out and go back up into the external universe a billion years earlier than we went down. So if you have wormholes, there's a natural way to make time machine. So this was wonderful when, when uh, my students and I discovered this. I was very excited. Uh, but then probing more deeply and talking with uh, other colleagues, uh, uh, I was forced to realize that there's a universal mechanism that when you're trying to turn a wormhole into a time machine in this way, a universal mechanism that always creates a violent explosion that very likely destroys the wormhole right at the moment when it begins to, uh, to make time travel possible. And so time machines, if you try to create them, appear to self-destruct. We simply do not have the understanding of the laws of physics to be able to speculate about that quantitatively yet.